All right, so what do we have? A couple of little hangovers this morning? <laughs> no, no, no. Mm, nothing like that. Slightly? Maybe little a little bit? sluggish this morning? Perhaps. Uh-huh. See, there we Stomach's go. Stomach's a little on the off side, but it's okay. Right. <laughs> no head pain. Kevin and Amber, our 23-year-old soon-to-be pageant queen, who we're calling her. When is your pageant, by the way, that you're entering? Um, it's in August in Toronto. Okay, mm. so you got a little bit of time. Yeah. Uh, they were at Angle Salon Spa a little bit and some kleptomania to get Kevin cleaned up and looking good. Dinner at Rembrandt Steakhouse and then a tour of Prairie Sun Brewery and Lucky Bastard Distillery. <laughs> and we heard that the uh, beverages were flowing quite well there. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't really stop anywhere we went, to be fair. Is that right? Wine at Rembrandt's and then beer at Prairie Sun, followed mm-hmm. immediately thereafter by a large number of shots at LBE. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good, good Monday night for Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I work on a morning show, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, somewhere there was a mistake made. <laughs> and did that tend to loosen the date up a little bit? or? I think it helped for mm-hmm. sure, yeah. Definitely got us out of our comfort zone. Alcohol always fuels the love, I find. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and so was the was the uh, conversation free flowing from the beginning? How did things start out? No, I'd say it was pretty easy right out of the gate. Uh, it wasn't. She's not very difficult to talk to. And then we just added wine, and that made things easy too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rembrandt Steakhouse. How did that go? Face to face, sitting down. Uh, no shortage of conversation for you guys. Everything was good. No, I thought it, everything went well for sure. Mm-hmm. No problems talking at all. No. What was the uh, most interesting conversation you guys had? Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Can you remember? That's <laughs> becoming a challenge. <laughs> okay. There was too many, I think, to be honest, yeah. to mm-hmm. point one out in you, particular. You, we just we just covered a wide variety of topics. I don't mm-hmm. really think anything stood out. Any, what did you do? Just, sorry, did, go ahead. I was just going to ask if there was uh, any awkward moments. No, no, I didn't see any. I didn't think so at all. Did you guys get deep into conversation, or was it uh, sort of uh, entry-level conversations? Mm. You know what I mean? Well, at one point, we played a little game wherein she had to determine if she could pick the point where I was wiping my fingers on my sock, because I said (laughs) that I do that whenever I go to the movies for popcorn, like you get the seasoning on your fingers. I wipe it on the sock, not the pants. You don't want to ruin the pants, Mm -hmm. but socks, who gives a care? They're socks. So I was able to surreptitiously pull that off more than once, and she never properly caught me. (laughs) More than once. Yeah, that happened. You know about the napkins, right? Yeah, I was just going to say, there is a thing. I know, at the restaurant, absolutely I know about napkins. And maybe at the movie, at the movie theater, theater. That exists too. But uh-huh. no, sock. Okay. <laughs> it's a tradition. You purposely go to the socks. Go to the socks. All right. What did you find most uh, interesting about Amber? The most interesting thing about Amber, um, well, you, we're going into the questions already because that's also the thing that stood out the most. No, I want to know what's the most interesting thing about her. Her ability to know pretty much everything I talked about. If I there were there was not a single lapse in 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 knowledge with anything that I mentioned that might have been taken nerdy or otherwise. Yeah, mm. she knew it all. And vice versa, Amber. What was the most interesting thing that you found about Kevin on the conversation? Um, I think just how well like we kind of got along with everything and how I knew what he was talking about mm-hmm. half the time or more than half of the time, obviously. So, so. lots in common then. Yes. Yeah. Or or that she's starting an all-girl paintball team. That's pretty sweet, too. Really? Oh. Well, working on it. Good, There's you not were... a lot of girls in the city that want a paintball, so it's kind of a little difficult. Yeah, I don't know a lot of paintball girls, but which, <laughs> I'm sorry, which paintball place do you work at? Uh, Rockridge Paintball. Rockridge. It's, yeah, out by okay. Marcel and Warman. Yeah. Uh, I think I would die if I entered that league. <laughs> oh, yeah, the paintballs will go right through you, Shauna. <laughs> <laughs> there would be. Just a hole. Yeah, just a hole in your body. <laughs> Okay, so from Rembrandt Steakhouse, you were off to tour of uh, Prairie Sun Brewery and Lucky Bastard Distillery. What was the best drink that you guys had there? Ooh. Well, I can't remember what that I, was called. Yeah, me either. I can't remember the name of it. LB had a really good one, and the wheat beer at Prairie Sun mm. was They just kept dumping them down your throat, and you're not asking questions, whatever no. it is, it is? No, they just said, hey, you want me to refill that? And I was like, okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> More? Sure. All right, let's play the C95 Bachelor match game this morning. So we each have the same questions here. We'll start with you, Amber. The best thing about the date was? I thought everything about the date was great. I had a wonderful time. But um, I like the fact that I got my own personal hand towel in the bathroom. Ooh. I felt pretty special. Mm -hmm. That was at Rembrandt's. Yeah. (laughs) Yes, they do. They have the the nice actual towels in there. I like that, too. Mm, I like that. Kevin? Well, my answer is steak, exclamation mark, also booze. But I got to go with the towel, I think. If I'm picking one thing, that towel is pretty sweet. <laughs> nice. Okay, the one thing that could have made the date better is what, Amber? 
I think maybe more time. We were really rushed over the dinner, and it came to us like forking it down at the end. Oh. So, and chugging back the wine. So. <laughs> that actually did happen. Did you steal my answer, by the way? I put the exact same two words. Yeah. No. More, more time, just more opportunity to get to know each other because mm. the businesses we were at were closing as we were done there. Ah. So we didn't really have an opportunity to go beyond the date, so to speak. Okay. Uh, the thing that stood out the most about the other person was Amber? I think everything about Kevin stands out. He's Whoa. pretty like original. Uh, his personality is great, and he makes me laugh. So interesting. Nice. All right, Kevin. Oh, I already said it. it. Anything. Her knowledge of nerdy stuff. The fact that she wants to start a female paintball team. That's all really, really cool stuff. And the fact that she's rather intelligent. Right. And now that you've spent some time together, what is the best feature about Kevin? Well, he definitely checks off my box for a good smile. So Whoa. he does have that morning man smile, doesn't he? Oh, don't I? <laughs> and vice versa for you, Kevin. What is the thing that uh, the best feature about Amber? She touched on the whole "I make her laugh" thing. Mm-hmm. My ability to do that, or rather, her ability to laugh, because she's got a good laugh. If I had to change one thing about the other person, it would be what, Amber? What would you change about Kevin? Nothing. Whoa. You have to pick one thing. One thing. One thing that you would change up a little bit. Okay, okay. I would change that he drinks Pepsi instead of Coke. (laughs) Mm. Yeah, I think I'd probably have to just say the vice versa, Coke instead of Pepsi. Coke instead of Pepsi, (laughs) all right. That came up multiple times. And the night ended with uh, what? Did it end with a bang, a whimper? I'm going to say the same answer I've been saying the whole time. All right. Kiss on the cheek. Kiss on the cheek. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'll go with that. Amber, would you have liked more than a kiss on the cheek? Um, we'll see. Oh, down the road? Okay. Okay. All right. I feel like this is uh, very promising. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to just like branch out here because I feel of all the dates so far, Amber seems to me to be extremely attracted to Kevin um, beyond even like personality. And, you know, you're obviously a funny, smart guy. I feel there's an actual like strong physical attraction. That's what I'm sensing this morning. Is that true, Amber? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) See, I'm putting her on the spot. Hey, that's what we're all about here. All right, Uh hey, we got to call him like we see him. That's Amber, (laughs) our 23 year old, uh, soon to be pageant queen from Prince Albert, date number four for Kevin Stanfield. Thank you very much, Amber. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. And we'll be back tomorrow with date number five. You will meet Courtney, Kevin. So we'll see you then. Okay, see you then. What is it about him that you find good looking? I don't know. I think he just presents himself really well and he has a lot of confidence and that shines through. So, uh, When you were out with him last night, could you picture him as boyfriend material? I guess I could. I mean, I feel like you do need more than one date to truly get to know someone, so it's a little hard on that. But um, I guess, you know, there could be something there. You never know. Now, do you normally date guys that are uh, like Kevin? Like, he's super respectful. Kiss on the cheek. That's sort of what he is putting out there. Are you cool with that? And is that the kind of guy you normally date? Um, I'm cool with that, for sure. But definitely a little bit far off from what I typically date. So, But I guess, you know, there's a reason why I was here in the first place. So.